So this question gives us a system of equations. The question says, for the system of equations above, what is the value of x plus y? So anytime we have a system of equations, we should be thinking about using um, elimination or substitution. I prefer to use elimination, but you can definitely use substitution. It doesn't matter which one you use, in most cases at least. Um, typically, substitution will be a good choice if at least one of your variables is isolated, right? So like we have a y isolated in the first equation, we have an x isolated in the second equation, which means in both scenarios, in fact, let's just use a substitution method, right? So if I have this 2x minus y, equals 8, I can subtract 2x from both sides here, leaving me with negative y equals negative 2x plus 8. I can then multiply the entire equation by negative 1, leaving me with positive y equals 2x minus 8. And now that I know what y equals, I go down to my second equation, which is x plus 2y equals 4. And I can take all of this and substitute out the y value in the second equation. So that will turn into x plus 2, parentheses, 2x minus 8 equals 4. And I have x plus 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times negative 8 is minus 16 equals 4. x plus 4x is 5x. I'm going to add 16 to both sides here. And I get 5x equals 20. Right, so dividing both sides by 5, I get x equals 4. So there's my x value. All right. Now, just to show another method, we're going to use elimination to find the y value. Not that I have to, because technically, if, you're, if you prefer substitution at this stage, we could just plug in x equals 4 into, you know, either here or here. And that way you can solve for y. So if that's what you prefer. By no means you have to also use a, a different method on your second round. But just to show the elimination process for the purpose of teaching it, if I start off with a 2x minus y equals 8 and an x plus 2y equals 4, the elimination method tells me I need to multiply by a value, um, either one, e one of the equations or both, so that when I add those equations together, the um, one of the variables get eliminated or one of the variables gets crossed out. So because I'm trying to solve for y, because I already have x from using substitution, I'm going to decide to eliminate the x value. So to do that, I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by negative 2. Why negative 2? Well, because if my top equation is still 2x minus y equals 8, and now when I multiply the second equation by negative 2, I get negative 2x minus 4y equals negative 8. This allows me to eliminate the x value, right? So I'm left with negative y minus 4y, which is negative 5y. And then 8 minus 8, which is 0, which tells me that my y value is 0. Okay, now the question wants us to figure out what x plus y is, right? So x is 4 y is 0, therefore x plus y equals 0. I'm sorry, x plus y equals 4, which is answer choice B. So it took a little bit longer on this video than I def definitely than I would on an actual test um, or even in a typical video, just so I can show you the two methods here of elimination and substitution. You get to choose either one. You don't have to choose both, obviously. Um, so it would have cut a lot of time out of this as well.